G'day, welcome to the Simple Cooking Channel. Today, I'm going to show you how I make gumdrops. These are so yummy. Oh, can't say enough. Let's go. Get a large bowl, put in half a cup of cold water. Then add 30 grams of unflavored gelatin or three envelopes. Now just set this aside to let it glugify for about 10 to 15 minutes. Get a saucepan, put in three quarters of a cup of water and add two cups of sugar. Turn your heat to high and bring this to a boil. Now that it's boiling, turn it down to low and simmer for about five minutes until this has thickened a little bit. Now as you can see this is slightly thickened, now we just turn this off, take it off the heat and get on to the next part. Now just carefully add this to the gelatin mixture and stir in and we just want this to mix together. Just keep doing this until the gelatin has dissolved. Now get some bowls. It really depends on how many colors you want to make of this. If you want to do five colors, you'll need five bowls. We need to separate the mixture. I'm just going to do three colors and three flavors. So I'm only using three bowls. Pour a bit into each. Now choose a different food coloring for each one. Put four or five drops in each one. Then add half a teaspoon of whatever essence or extract you wish to add. For the red I'm using strawberry essence, for the green peppermint essence, and for the blue vanilla essence, just to mess with people. Now just mix each one in. Now for this use some sort of mold. I'm using ice trays because they work really well for this. Just give it a quick little spray with some sort of cooking oil or something just so it doesn't stick. Pour your mixtures in containers with a spout or you can just spoon it in whichever is easier and just put however much you want in each mold. Now pop these in the fridge for at least eight hours or overnight. Now just get a bowl of sugar, any type's fine, could be white sugar, raw sugar, whatever, and a plate or something to put these on. Now once these have been in the fridge overnight or for eight hours, take them out, they'll look like this, and just dip them or roll them straight in the sugar. And just place on the plate. Alrighty, once you've done that, now just leave this on the counter for about 24 hours so it slightly crystallizes and then it's ready. You can eat them now if you want, but leaving it for 24 hours makes it even better. Well, I hope you like these. Oh, yeah. Um, so good. Which one to try? Strawberry. Now, as I said, leave them out for 24 hours so they crystallize, so they go sort of firmish or, or on the outside. Or you can just eat them straight away. That's still going to be just as yummy. Oh, that is something special. 
These are so good. I'll see you next time for my next meal. Oh.